Oh, I see you're turning on after I shocked you by telling you that prayer is neither heard nor answered by a God in the sky. I want to give you a new definition for prayer, some of you. Prayer is a positive mental transaction within your own mind. Prayer is a positive mental transaction within your own mind. And so as such, prayer is not even a religious exercise. Prayer is what you say to yourself within yourself. And to put it in the first person again, because I want you to be able to use this message. Prayer is what I say about myself within myself. When you pray, you are really talking to yourself. You are talking to your own mind. You are convincing yourself of the good which you desire. And here again, you know, when you pray, you have no one to convince but yourself. So many people waste a lot of time with this so-called religious praying by trying to convince a God in the sky to do something for them or to give them something. But here again, and I have to hold the guideline on the scriptures because we're going into the Bible Belt. This woman's prayer took place within herself. She said within herself, if I may but touch his clothes, I shall be made whole. That was a mental transaction which she made within her own mind. To go into a bit of mind science and science of living for a moment, her conscious mind impressed the idea of healing, the idea of wholeness, the idea of restored health upon her subconscious mind. And this is the mental transaction. These are the mental mechanics which take place when you pray. The conscious mind conveys an idea to the subconscious mind. With her conscious mind, she selected the idea of wholeness, the idea of health, the idea of healing, and declared it and affirmed it. And the subconscious mind accepted that idea of healing and of wholeness. This is why here in these services we're always affirming, even to the point of being redundant. I want you to know that I am purposely redundant in my messages and in my classes. Oh, of course, I studied theology, homiletics, and hermeneutics. But I found that people don't need that. People need something that they can use. People need the truth presented to them in such a way that it will set them free. 